Yes, yeah, 3 Series United 2 and the ELV Lite, which is a red steering, and that's on. We will reset it using the Autel Diagnostic Machine. Uh, most of the Autel machines will do it, so we'll pair the car up. So if we do that, as you can see, the green tick has been highlighted, which means it's connected to the VCI over there. <coughs> I'll take a few minutes to pair up. Here we are. Yep, that's fine. That's fine. I mean, luckily for this uh, person, the vehicle does start and drive. Uh, majority of the time, it doesn't start when that comes up. Uh, you kind of struggle um, to start. You won't be able to start the vehicle if it does come on in some cars. However, in this one, uh, it does run and drive um so all it needs is a reset of the elv which i'll show you in a second it's um you can do it in two different ways you can do the full scan um try and clear it if you can but i very much doubt you will uh, the other bit is going into the hot function um, and i'll show you in a second the elv light um obviously comes on due to a few things if it's reached this limit and the counter has been set um the other thing would be uh, the wrong battery in the vehicle. So if it's a 90 AH, I don't, I can't remember what these are, but if it's 90 and you put a 70 or 80 in, it will trigger straight away. Um, the other thing I said, low battery voltage, even if you've got a 90 in there and the battery is running low, this will cause it as well. Um, there are quite a few other things um, that will cause it, but they're the main things for this. Now time. we're going to service. And then you go into powertrain. I don't know if you can see it. And then you go into the cast. And then some people just reset one. No, I'd like to reset every single one to being sure. So, okay, so we'll continue. Um, that was reset, lovely. So go back out and then we'll reset the star lock. Okay. Yes, our ignition is on that. Um, and then... That's fine as it says, no problem. We'll carry on with that. And that's done that as well. And then the last one is this one. Reset the ELV fault counter. Yes, F1. So now that that is doing, I've already done two other ones. Um, as you can see, it's gone straight away. Uh, sometimes it doesn't dissolve or go away at all. Um, which, what you'll need to do then is, um, in other words, here it is. As you can see, it's come back on. Um, what you'll need to do is um, take the key out. And then just sometimes you need to lock the door. Just let it rest a minute. And then um, just open it up open the driver's door close it if it doesn't shut on me here we are and then if we go back in hopefully let's have a look and if we shut the door in a second there you go it's gone totally so what i'll do i will reset sometimes it doesn't reset it on the first go so i do recommend doing it a second time uh, just because it doesn't register properly so if i take the key out and if i pop it back in there you go and if i turn the vehicle on it has gone completely as you saw as soon as i put the key in it had come up straight away so it's always good to take the key out maybe lock the door and lock it and then try again and see what happens but sometimes that might not even work so you'll have to do them steps again and then that'll uh, kind of eliminate the fault. But we're all good. And if we come back at this, I will certainly do a full diagnostic scan and clear to erase uh, all the fault codes that are stored in the vehicle. So we'll do a full diagnostic scan. And full diagnostic scan here. And then if we just uh, click erase, just wipe everything. Some things may stay, some may not, obviously, uh, but we'll see. Anyway, the vehicle's running fine anyway without any issues, so jobs are good in. But I'll just do the full scan and that should be it really.